Well then, if they're not active all the time, so I can have a lot of them protest. their foreign god that is a terrorist. Muhammad is a terrorist. Okay, He's a mass murderer. Right. That's fine. I'm not gonna I have to because the end you're, of the day, we you remain impartial. You have your you're not impartial because you're going to move me on unlawfully. You're going to arrest me for legally protesting in Victoria yeah, under the high court. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But either I don't. I can't have you one protest. Yeah, well, that's unlawful. That's unlawful. That's unlawful. That's unlawful. You've proven in court. I've been through this three times. You, you have no power over me. I don't have to. You go back up there, and I feel privileged of wasting my time. Okay? okay? Australian tax money. Sorry. Okay. No, I don't understand it. It's not more. I don't understand something that's been left in Imagine if there was 150 of us. Would that change your ideas? I think it would. That's the enemy's call. You think they're going to let us down, guys? Wait, no, what? Three, what? The whole country's going to be fucked. I understand you have to do a job, but they're, they're going to do all the things. We should have bring like 30,000 people to stand on Flinders Street and say the same thing. Oh, that's right, they don't. They would accept that. The vegans are allowed to do it. They have no idea. Double standards, huh? And it's funny how you've got nothing to say about facts because no, no. It's, is, it's it's incredible. This is the it is. Of the Labor government allowing Correct. Protests and that's exactly the right. And that's it's a double standard. They've got nothing to say, but they'll back up Daniel Andrews because he's a little Hail Hitler, isn't he? Yeah. Have I been to Tony? Yeah. Have I been to Look at this, this is bullying and harassment. 
Bullying and harassment. Stop, or are you going to be detained, Chris? What's this? Breach on the beach. On the vegan. On the vegan. Yeah, if they're there, he can do what he wants. Traffic. Listen to the this music. Is this is unlawful. You know what's so embarrassing? If I was one of your sons doing this to this bloke, I'd be very embarrassed. Well, the call to prayer is one too. This is so embarrassing for you. Oh, I did my job. I'm so proud of myself. You've done nothing. Nothing at all. What's your back for what, mate? Yeah. What's that supposed to mean? You shoot us. Well, people walking around and gobbling off. Do you understand? Yeah, if you want to hold your hand, that's kind of creepy, but. Well, you actually happy this is happening. You're happy that this is happening. This is the stuff that we're But you should be more than happy if a bloke is on the phone driving past, but we're going to arrest a bloke. Put him in the can cuffs because of this, and that's what's disgusting about this state. What, what's this, mate? You're blind as well, mate. And you're always painted on me, boy, huh? You got no facts, mate. You got nothing. Right. You got nothing. All you gotta do is follow me around, give me a cup, but you're not blind, mate. Look at Dave, you're on the no worries. Uh, yeah, it's just stay there, mate, because when your facts get yeah. shoved in your face, you've got nothing. Yeah. Here's the facts for you. This is pathetic, and this is our government at the moment. This is what's going on. You're more than happy to arrest a bloke, or have any say, but they're allowed to do that, are they? Oh, there's a difference, is there? This is the problem with our state. You reckon this one bloke, you reckon it's just him, do you? It's happening all over the world, my friends. Nice, man. That's just what's gross. Whose side are you going to choose? Protesting and um, basically you're allowed to do that unless you're a vegan. Oh, just bring him over to the I tell people this of the corruption that we've got. Oh, no. You know what's gross? The fact that you've got five coppers on one bloke, why aren't you doing their job? Exactly right. So if he was vegan on the middle of the road, you're gonna, oh, that's right, you just don't do that. You don't do your job. You let that happen. Should I go protest in the middle of the road to stop traffic? See how long I get detained, huh? a little bit embarrassed that it takes seven of you to arrest a bloke. Isn't it a little bit embarrassing because he had his say? And they're going to attack him. Do you think that's alright? I don't think so. People fought and died for this country for him to have his say. Are you just spitting on those dead diggers, are you? Is that what you're doing? Because that's what you're doing, spitting on their diggers. Are you just a little bit embarrassed? Just like that? Oh, we'll be, be very embarrassed. Oh, I've 
see protests, mate. Look, I'm protesting on using protests against against him. Aren't you embarrassed, mate? Come on. Why don't you have a civilized discussion? See the dribbling, dribbling, dribbling. Why don't you have a discussion? It's public area, you'll have a video. Can't wait till we start seeing that one. When people stop their petty jobs, who's it, who, whose side are you going to choose in here? Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, repeated three times to him, please eat with your right hand, and refused to. As a result, our prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, became disturbed and said, may you never eat with your, right, with your left hand. And when he came after our prophet, peace and blessings, made that particular prayer on him, or that particular said that thing to him, he basically could not lift his left hand anymore. He could only eat with his right hand. Arrogance, refusal to accept. All oh, this is this is mankind's disposition today, regrettably. And this is what's become of us. We refuse to take back what's said. We refuse to apologize. We refuse to acknowledge that when I apologize to someone, as much as it might be perceived as a sign of weakness, it's actually a sign of humility. Because you're seeing beyond, you're transcending beyond the individual. You're seeing God in a whole situation. You're not seeing the individual, you transcend to be able to see God. And that's essentially what we want. The opportunity to be able to show our Uh, yelling through the, the megaphone yeah. um, up there at the at the prayer thing.
you have to what we call pay a contribution towards that. Now, for example, people like you know, the that as we know, when we have well, we're expected to pay something as assistance to those less fortunate. That's that's the nature of what we get that we get given want. Similarly too, if you have a skill set and a particular, especially if it's a need within the community, not the Muslim community, we're talking about a wider community need, you have a social obligation to make a contribution for that particular skill that you've been given. And I'll give you an example. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that the longest verse we have in our holy book is called Ayat al -Dain. It is the, 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 the verse dealing with borrowing and lending. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, if you come for, if you have a, a, a transaction for a lending and a borrowing transaction, write it down. He says, when cash is paid to come up, and the writer amongst you has to be an equitable writer, write it down in the contract, and then we're talking about a period of 400 that the writer cannot refuse when he's been asked to write his contract okay he cannot say i'm not writing this contract i refuse to i'm too busy he says, no, as Allah has given him that skill set of the ability to write, he cannot refuse that social obligation, that request to write that particular transaction. Similarly to our transaction here is that we all have skill set. At the very minimum, as a Muslim community, at the very minimum, as a Muslim community, we have a lot of value add to give this community, to give back to the, our wider community. To give internally to the Muslim community and moreover to the wider community. That's our social obligation here. That's our social contract here I'm talking about here. The value of us as a community will be well established in the size in the eyes of other communities when like we saw in Christchurch, they will know our value when we've socially contributed. They say that social contribution leads to a sense of social inclusion. And the value of us as a Muslim and this is what I thought today, our brothers and sisters, to take home from this khutbah, that let's think about social contribution in order to think about social inclusion. I'll put the photo ahead of stuff below anyway. Respected sisters and brothers, in conclusion, I ask God today to make, especially in the light of the past events of the past few weeks that we've had, we've had a, a very traumatic time. It's been a very turbulent time. We all conclude, and the coming out. In both from the Muslim community and from the wider community shows to me there are three things that are happening here. One is that we all want to be a sense of solidarity between us and the wider community. We feel so comfortable here in this space today. We are part of this fabric of this community. Outsiders coming to you. What we're seeing here today is part and parcel of being part of this multicultural community. It's not like, you know, Wow, you Muslims are here, you know, it's really good. No, this is something we are part and parcel of the fabric of this community. By virtue, inshallah, of what we do and that recognition that, you know, wider community members will have. Secondly, as a solidarity, like we said, with the Muslim community, that outsiders will not 
run the narrative as they say it's middle path Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says we will make you we have made you a balanced nation this balance that we want to be so we want all the extremists that come the external noise the Baghazi as they use that terminology that's just external noise because mainstream middle path united with people members outside the Muslim community that is going to Also get her up, yeah. Oh, oh, I'm protesting this. This is a disgrace. What, the arrest? Yeah, no, it, it's a disgrace. He had his say, and he got arrested for it. It's a disgrace. But then it's for vegans are allowed to have it on the road when I'm trying to get to work. Do you think that's amusing that you can do that? No, so all, all I'm asking is for no you're not asking. You're coming here to tell me what's going on. Like, 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 that's what you're trying to do. I'm planning to stay here until he leaves. Okay, but you stand down here, you're not going back from there? Oh, I haven't decided yet. Depends on what he's doing. Okay. Well, he's getting moved on recently, so... Is he? So having freedom of speech is gone, huh? No, so no public area, having his say, and he's getting moved on, correct? I just want to know, I just want to hear you say it so I can laugh. Well, you go, go, oh, I was a vegan, no, and I've been in the middle of the road. You continue to talk over me, that's right. No, no, because I don't care what you have to say, because you don't care what I have to well, say. You asked, me, you asked me my opinion, so I was going to say to you, Obviously, already been explained to you that's under the breach of the peace and it's being moved on. Breach of the peace? What peace? It's just an imminent breach of the peace. What, what, hey, explain it. Go through it. Let's because go. people obviously have a right to be up here. Doing so do we. Do we not have a right? Is that what you're saying? <coughs> we don't have a right to say about our say as well. It's a public area. If you're right, it is a public area. Yeah, so correct. So why can't we have our say? Why can't we have our say? Because there's an imminent breach of the peace. Explain it. Go through it. Go into detail with it. You haven't got anything. So you've got nothing at all and you know it. And I'm embarrassed. If I was your kid, I'd be embarrassed about this whole situation. I really would. Because if a vegan goes in the road, he can do whatever he likes, and I can't get the bloody work. And you, and I watch so many footage of them doing whatever they like. But if I was to go over, hold on, if I go over there and have my protest, guess what? You're going to do. You're going to arrest me. Because that's the way the state's going. Aren't you? Don't, aren't you comprehending? Yeah, so what, what we're talking about is a breach of the peace. Obviously, you're, you're right. So there was thirty thousand of us. Would you? I'm going to keep. Why would I talk to someone that's going to keep explaining the same situation? I know the dribble. I've been explained it so many yeah, more times. Right. I'm it's in a public area. It, Sorry, mate. Comprehending it, but I can't. So I don't have freedom. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, is that what you're saying? All we're, all we're telling you is what I'm telling you. Is that you can't just go up all there because that's going to cause a breach of the peace. Why? I haven't said anything wrong. I that was him. So now I'm. Now you're telling okay, me okay. that I. You asked us why he was. No, no, I didn't ask. He yeah, told me. Yeah, I didn't tell me. I'm just telling you not to drop that up there, alright? Alright. Okay. Oh, well done. Yeah, all good. How are you? That's good. Anything in particular you're filming or? Just streaming to a news service. Sorry? Just streaming to a news service. Which news service is that? The Unshackled? Sorry? The Unshackled, do you know? YouTube one or? Yeah. It's like going to sleep.